Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel where we help you go from having nothing to wear to always having something to wear and feeling more stylish. Should I do that again? <laughs> In today's episode, we're talking about what is a capsule wardrobe, who is it for, and how can you start building one? Not just any capsule wardrobe, but a stylish capsule wardrobe. By the end of this video, you're gonna know whether you have the makings of a capsule wardrobe already sitting in your wardrobe. I said wardrobe, like wardrobe already, already sitting 1,000 times there. By the end of this video, you're gonna know whether you already have the makings of an effective capsule wardrobe in your wardrobe. There is no other way to say that and we can all accept that. Or what tweaks you can make in order to complete your capsule wardrobe. All right, we've got a bit to discuss. As usual, I'm gonna have my visual representations on my sides, in front of my face, anywhere, just to show you what I mean. Let's dive straight into it. What is a capsule wardrobe? In my personal opinion, there are three types of capsule wardrobe. One, your basic capsule wardrobe, which is made of your staples. These are pieces that you take, whether you're at work, you're going on holidays. I was gonna say, when you go to bed, but probably not, probably not. Errands, dressed up events, they're your basics. That's why they're called your basics. They may as well be called your foundationals, but that's quite long. Sometimes they call them essentials. So these would be things like your tank tops, black, white, and cream, your pants, so dress pants, black, white, and cream. White can be a bit controversial in terms of pant staples, but let's keep it in there because a white pant, in this one lifetime, this particular lifetime, you will likely have a need or want for white pants and so on and so forth. So the best way to consider your basic capsule wardrobe is that they are the pieces that probably get the most wear out of your wardrobe selection. And if not necessarily in one small pocket of time, you know, I might not necessarily wear my white singlets all the time, in one week but over the span of a month I'll pull this white singlet or white tank top a few times to complete a look and that goes for all of the pieces that belong in your basic capsule wardrobe my personal favorite for my basic capsule wardrobe is my black tank top and my white tank top which have shoulder pads because I love the way that the shoulder pads kind of elevate the look of what could just be a normal white t-shirt or a black t-shirt but for you that might just be you know a crew neck black t-shirt white t-shirt another thing that would belong in your foundational or essential or staple basic capsule wardrobe would be your white button down shirt. The second kind of capsule wardrobe is a themed capsule wardrobe such as holiday capsule wardrobe, travel capsule wardrobe which may be a holiday but not necessarily because you might be on a work trip or a workwear capsule wardrobe. I've been asked in the past to showcase a mum capsule wardrobe, an entrepreneur capsule wardrobe. What this is really rooted in is having a look at what your life consists of because your life and the activities that you participate in dictate the way for you to dress in a comfortable way and of course in a stylish manner if you so wish. Now a themed capsule wardrobe can include a lot of your basic capsule wardrobe if anything it often does. I know that it definitely does for me that these tank tops they go with me anywhere anytime because they're part of my essentials but they do build into certain themes of my life. Would it be my video if there was no nose scratching? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Scratching is part of the script. <laughs> just kidding, I don't script this, I just do dot points. Adding no scratch to the list, just kidding. So in the images that you've seen just here, you've seen a sample of a holiday capsule wardrobe and workwear capsule wardrobe, which leads us into what in my opinion is the complete capsule wardrobe or complete personalized capsule wardrobe. And this kind of wardrobe is one where you find it very easy to dress for dress down things like errands, going for your copy runs, you know, accidentally forgot my keys at my friend's house, gotta go out and get them, you know, go get some dog food, meet up with a friend and then whoops, got dragged into some networking. Not speaking from experience. I don't mind networking, I really don't. But things like that, where you can go from dress down occasions all the way through to dressed up occasions with a lot of ease. I think back in the day, it used to be very common to have sections of your wardrobe where you're like, these are my New Year's outfits and these are the outfits that I go walk the dog and they could never really coincide. Now to this day, maybe you're not gonna wear a secret and jacket to go and walk the dog. However, your event wear may not necessarily be so far away from your casual wear because instead of going for dresses that you would wear once off, potentially you would have pieces that are easily re-wearable rather than going for statement pieces. But that's for a whole other conversation. Let's make a video about statement dressing and how to kind of have a wardrobe filled with statement pieces and making them re-wearable. 
So for now, let's focus on a complete capsule wardrobe. A complete capsule wardrobe is one which you are able to inject your personal style, meaning your taste for texture, your taste for pattern, your taste for color, and sort of weave them through your selection of basics or staples and you know your themes. That is the dream. And I'm happy to announce <laughs> Is this an announcement? It's not, it's not an announcement. I'm not getting an award for this. But I just wanted to share that it took me some years to have a complete wardrobe. And there have been many moments in my life where I've wanted to dress for something to go, oh, but I have a capsule, but why do I feel so dressed down? Like I don't feel like this is a special dinner and all of my friends are so fashionable. Not, not that this is about comparing myself to them, but this is about me feeling good for what I'm dressing for. There were times where I was like, I've got my capsule, but why does it just feel as though I'm just repeating the same looks? It's kind of the concept of capsule dressing. I was unable to capture the feeling that I wanted when I wanted to dress for certain occasions. So I'd feel elevated from my dog walks and my errands and my casual meetings and my casual lunches. But when it came to dressing up for things that I wanted to dress up for, I felt like my wardrobe was lacking. That was probably one of the last phases of my wardrobe that needed to be complete to make it feel as though I had a complete capsule wardrobe for me. For me, the ultimate goal I think that I had sort of subliminally when I was consciously building my wardrobe was to get to a place where I could have pieces that just made me feel elevated in all areas of life. Was that like the holy grail? Like was it the impossible? Was I set out for a task of impossible or complete discontentment? You know? Like, am I just destined to have to shop all the time to continue creating these looks that made me feel elevated, stylish, like a million bucks? I'd love to announce that it is possible to build that. And that would be what you would call your complete capsule wardrobe. So for some that might be 10 pieces, 15 pieces, and for others that might be 76 pieces. And according to this clothes rack at the back, we're heading in that direction of 76, but we are in fashion education and it is good for us to show, be able to have visual examples of what it is that we are talking about. On to the next part. So for a little bit of context, I was probably very much in a similar situation that you've experienced, which is having so many clothes and nothing to wear. And my next step from that was I started looking at basics, such as these samples that you're seeing here, tank tops, simple things that I was like, I don't want to spend money on this. It's just way too simple. It's like spending money on socks. I don't know if you feel a certain way about spending money on socks, but I used to feel a certain way about it. I'm like, it's a sock, but uh, you know, you need those socks to be comfortable, to be functional, etc. Anyway, that was my own thing to work through, but I started creating a capsule wardrobe and it did get to the stage where I was of the belief that everything was built until I come across an event or something that I needed to dress for and be like oh now I feel so underdressed or now I feel like I've just worn this to my very casual things I don't feel elevated anymore what's missing and then all the way through to really like unpacking what is a complete wardrobe made of and now it's at the stage where I can help you build your capsule wardrobe and that's why we created the ultimate style accelerator program because everything I'm about to tell you now is unpacked completely in that that's got 36 lessons so this is maybe a 10, 15 minute YouTube video. We can only cover so much, but also there's a lot of detail in there. So what I'm about to tell you now about getting started on building your capsule wardrobe, just know that, okay, these are the building blocks of your wardrobe creation. So how do you build a stylish capsule wardrobe? Not just any old capsule wardrobe, but a stylish one. One that feels elevated and is really easy to work with. So number one, get to know your body proportion and your body shape. I have a short torso and leg proportion and upon discovery, like that was one of my first discoveries, I was like, holy sh now I understand why crop tops don't look great on me. Not all crop tops, ultra crop tops look great, but the average crop top, which has, you know, a little bit of fabric underneath the bust, like this example over here. No bueno, no, especially with high-waisted bottoms. If there was a little bit of that gap and then it was all sort of open up here, not with sleeves, because with sleeves is okay, but without sleeves is not that okay. Just things started to look a little bit off and I could recognize, oh, this looks off because I understand now my short torso makes an average crop top look like a full length top. So I have one inch between my lowest rib and the beginning of my hip bone, whereas some people have eight inches 
five inches. But knowing that, you'll have a greater understanding of why something looks a certain way on you versus how it looks on a model. And then your other thing is get to know your body shape. Now body shape, I do have something called the style elevation guide, which will help you do your wardrobe audit and identify your body shape. But just know that the shapes that you hear, even I've talked about, they are not the be all and end all of anything, but they're helpful to know. Do you have an apple body shape, a pear shape, an hourglass, an inverted triangle, a rectangle? I'm a rectangle. When you know how the your body mass is distributed on your body, you'll get an idea on which part of your body you're focusing on the most when you are creating an outfit. Number two, learn a little bit about how to work with colors. So you don't necessarily need to know so much about style genres, that's a little bit later on, but your colors, knowing what colors work really well together or from the very early start, kind of getting to know, you know, cool colors versus warm colors. In my opinion, some people will say, oh, you shouldn't wear these colors, never wear these colors. You know, I'm not so much of that belief that you should never wear a color, especially if you love a color. Like imagine if you love a color, you're like, never wear that. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. I believe that when you know how to work with colors, what colors complement each other, then you will know how to make it work for you and really accentuate your look, like help you bring out your glow. And to be honest, there is always a way to create balance with the color, whether your skin's natural undertones or not. And we'll talk about that in future videos. But if you want to skip to the lessons, just go to the description box of this video and check out some of the modules and lessons that we've got there for you. Now, number three, have a look at your existing wardrobe and see, do you have more patterns and colors than you do actual solids? So do you notice that all of these things back here, they are all solid colors. I have no print there. That's on purpose. Yep, little behind the scenes YouTube video creation tip. I keep these solids and neutrals in the background on purpose because once I integrate different colors and patterns, sometimes it increases the chance of me clashing with the background. And you might even notice with my other videos, I often wear black or a white or cream and I don't really wear a lot of pattern because once I integrate that pattern, I then have to think about how everything else fits together. You know what's a really good example of this? Bridgerton, Bridgerton, Ocean's Eleven. There are some movies out there that are just so impeccably styled. They are stunning to look at just with your eyes, stunning to look at with your nose, just <laughs> stunning to look at. And that's because not only do they have the style genre in cohesion, such as Bridgerton, this set way back in time, and you can see that in the designs, but what makes it extra visually appealing is that they are always, you know, color matching. It's just a beautiful art. When you learn to work with colors, it really makes a world of difference. You can clash style genres and it still look cohesive. Once you have your shapes and your colors intact, you're already on the way to creating a complete elevated capsule wardrobe. So let's recap that again. The three types of capsule wardrobes are your basic capsule wardrobe, which contains your staples or your essentials. Two, your themed capsules. Capsules that you might build for a certain season or a certain event in your life and you still wanna maximize the amount of pieces that you have there and potentially have those pieces and integrate them into your, the third type of capsule wardrobe, which is a complete personalized capsule wardrobe. We have a workshop for that. So those are the three types of capsule wardrobes out there. And then again, to wrap up how to create a stylish elevated capsule wardrobe, you've got one, really embrace your body shape and your body proportion. That's what you're dressing for alongside the events that you're dressing for. Number two, Google the color wheel. Have a look at the color wheel and which colors sit next to each other or opposite from each other. But a color wheel will really give you great perspective on colors that work really well together. And then number three, balance out the patterns in your wardrobe. And if you already have some colors in your wardrobe, have a think about a piece in your wardrobe and say, what color does this go with? And have a look at the color wheel and have a look at what sits next to or opposite to that color wheel. Now, if you want a step-by-step -step method 
on how to build your capsule wardrobe, your basic capsule wardrobe. We do have the ultimate capsule wardrobe workshop. I'm not gonna lie, that is about two hours of a workshop that shows you what pieces could go into your wardrobe and how to style them together. You can find that in the link in the description box and you'll also find a little discount code there for you for coming from YouTube. And again, get started with that. With clients that I've worked with in terms of styling, most of the time we revert back to their staples collection, aka their capsule wardrobe once we build on that it's one a lot easier for them to organize their wardrobe fact two easier to create outfits which still express their personal style and three easy to build upon it's generally those pieces that are missing and that brings us to the end of this video if you have any requests for future videos please let me know in the comment section down below if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. <laughs> My Filipino kicked in. You want the video? Anyway, yeah, so you don't miss out on any videos moving forward or video. And that's it. If you like this video, make sure you like it. Thanks very much. I appreciate in advance. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh.